Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be performing some tests on the Bouge RV CR Pro 30, 30 quart refrigerator. I'm going to be performing some refrigeration tests as well as some freezing tests to see if it can maintain the set temperature. All tests are going to be performed with the same ambient temperature of 76 degrees. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So I've allowed my items to pre-chill overnight in the refrigerator uh, and now I'm going to be stacking them into this portable for refrigerator and this has been cooling off overnight as well so everything should be nice and cool and we're going to be hooking the refrigerator up to this EcoFlow River 2 Max which has 512 watts of power and we will see if it lasts at least 48 hours, that's, that's the goal. So we are going to go into the fridge and get some items packed. So this is what we have at the moment. It's not fully packed. There's still obviously room up here. That's going to be our items. We're currently set for 36 degrees. We're going to now change it over to Econo mode. All right, so once it stops flashing, we're in eco mode now, and now we're going to plug this into the battery. So now I need to turn on DC over here. And the refrigerator is now on. And the time is 11.14 on a Friday. So that starts our test, and hopefully we can see this uh, lasting for at least 48 hours. I, I think it should. So let's check back in from time to time to see how it's doing. Just doing a quick update here. Checking on the battery level. Looks like we are at 98%. It's been 4 hours and 15 minutes since we started this test. The temperature has gotten up to 37 degrees we started at 33 degrees and it's just now reached uh, 37 degrees about half an hour ago so but we're just waiting for that to reach 38 degrees and we're gonna see how long the compressor will run to cool it down to uh, the 36 degrees so we just reached 38 degrees and we can see the compressor icon there so this is the first time the compressor has kicked on. The time is 4.11 p.m. So we're just shy of three minutes of being five hours before this reached 38 degrees. So right now we're gonna leave this running for a few minutes and see how long it's gonna take to get down to having the compressor shut off. So we'll see. Check on the percentage. We've got 98% battery. That was how much percentage we had before the compressor kicked on. Over here we can see how much wattage is being used right now by the compressor. As you can see it kind of bounces between mid 20s and 35 watts. In eco mode it's rated at 36 watts average. The temperature has just reached 36 degrees and the compressor turned off. And we are sitting at 95% battery remaining. So that means that this has been running for 27 minutes to bring it down to 36 degrees. At 10.03 p.m. was my last check-in for the night. It was at 86% and the refrigerator was reading 37 degrees. Now, I set the temperature at 36. And so checking on the internal items revealed that, um, well, it was going above 40 degrees. I did not want this to be going into the 40s, so just to be safe, I set the uh, temperature down to 33 instead, just to make sure that I didn't have to worry. It is 9.33 a.m. the following day. Currently it's reading 35. That's been just kind of going up and down, so let's see. Inside we are looking like we're about 35 degrees. And the bottom thermometer is reading 37. This is my 24 hour update. The temperature is set to 33. Currently it's at 34. 
Let's check the internal temperature. This one appears to be showing right at 40. I don't know why this one's always showing quite high. And the bottom, that, showing 37. The battery is sitting at 58% left and the compressor has just kicked in. So since I've set this to 33 degrees, it has been kicking the compressor on around 35 degrees. I think I'll check back uh, probably tonight one more time and then closer to the uh, 48 hour mark. And if it goes beyond that, uh, we'll try to see when the battery actually runs, uh, runs dead. So stay tuned. And it's now 36 hours after the beginning of our test. Refrigerators still set to 33 degrees and it's currently at 33 degrees. Let's take a look at our power. 28% left and we'll check in again tomorrow. So it's 9.39 a.m. We're nearing the 48 hour mark and the battery is currently at 10%. All right, checking in at the 48 hour mark. The compressor is currently still running. We're sitting at 5%. I'm just gonna check back as soon as we run out of power. It is one hour past the 48 hour mark. Let's see how much battery power we have left. It's showing 1%. And we're just waiting for this thing to die. All right, so just a few seconds ago, that has died. It is now showing 0%. Uh, the refrigerator just completely turned off. Check the final temperatures. This here is showing a little bit above 30 degrees. Let's check the bottom. This one is at 36 degrees. There are coils that are wrapped around the exterior of this basket. I don't think the bottom has any coils running across, so any thermostats that may be kind of in the towards the center of this basket are probably going to read warmer. As you saw, that was like 36 degrees, whereas this read closer to 30 because it's near the edge. Starting another test, battery is at 100% over here. Uh, the refrigerator is not connected to the battery just yet. We have it indicating 15 degrees at the moment. We have it set to 15 degrees. That's why the compressor is off at the moment. Internal temperature, let's take a peek, showing 11.5 here and roughly 16 over there. So I need to now unplug the AC because this has been chilling using the AC power for uh, maybe eight hours overnight. So everything's kind of settled around the 15 degree temperature. And I want to know if I put this to eco mode, whether eco mode can sustain the 15 degrees because setting it any lower, like 10 degrees or zero degrees or negative eight, eco mode has just not, not been able to keep up with cooling the temperature down. The compressor is just simply running all the time trying to, to maintain that temperature. All right, so we're starting the test. Like I said, it's 17 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to wait to see if that compressor is actually going to be able to cool it down to 15 and shut off. We're still at 100%. We have 98%. 15 degrees. 55%. Currently indicating 17 degrees. Still at 17 degrees here. We've got the compressor on at the moment. The battery today is at 25%. Let's check the internal temperature really quick. We've got 14.5 degrees over here and 
that 16 or 17 degrees over here. So I'm gonna check in once again, once the battery is dead. Alright, freezer is now at zero degrees, compressor is off, we're still in max mode, we are still plugged into AC, but um, we're going to now connect it to the battery so that we can start our test. I'm going to go ahead and turn this battery on, it should still be at 100%, turn this off for just a second, right, now we're going to unplug. Plug in the other cord, which is the TC. All right, turn on the DC power. Right, so this has already raised itself two degrees and we're going to go ahead and run the compressor now. But I'm going to leave it in max mode. Hopefully this can get down to zero degrees again. Because I don't want the compressor to be running the entire time. This is what we're currently drawing. Right now it actually looks like it's drawing pretty much what the Econo mode uses, which is between like 26 and 36 watts, but in max mode it's supposed to be drawing about uh, 45, 45 watts, but I'm not seeing that just yet, so that could, could change. There I just saw 40 for just an instance, but I'm expecting that to go a little bit higher. So now I'm can seeing those higher wattages being pulled right there, so it's right around average of 45, 46. And that's what I expect to be consuming in max mode. The freezer has been running the entire time. It's been able to only go down one degree to one degree Fahrenheit. We're trying to achieve zero degrees but unfortunately I don't think it's going to be able to to do that. The compressor has been running now for several hours. We started at 1.45 p.m. and now it is 4.04 p.m. The battery is indicating about 80 percent left so we've used 20 percent and it indicates that it, if it continues to run as it is now, it'd be about nine more hours. So for the roughly two hours and 15 minutes that it's been running, we've consumed 20% of the battery already and it hasn't been able to achieve zero degrees. So I'm gonna have to say that this test has failed. We were not able to achieve the temperature set on max. I'm gonna end this test and my next test, I'm going to raise the temperature to see um, if it can achieve a higher set temperature. I'm starting this test at 6.02 p.m. on a Thursday, and we have just reached five degrees. Compressor is off. So once this raises to about seven degrees, the compressor is most likely going to kick in and we'll see if this will be able to cool it back down to five degrees using the max mode. Let's take a look at the battery and we're at hundred percent so let's see what happens. So it's reached five degrees now. Compressor is off. Still in max mode. 88% remaining. 
Let's check the internal temperature real quick. 4.6 degrees and the four degrees over there. Just a quick update, 7.41 a.m. on Friday. It is seven degrees, compressor's running. We still have it set to five degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see the battery. We've got 37% left. Let's check the interior real quick. Seven degrees and about four. Getting close for this test to be over. The battery is getting close to being empty. Compressor is currently still running, so it could be dying at any moment. All right, the battery just hit zero percent. Refrigerator just turned off. While the compressor was running, it died, and we reached a temperature of five degrees on the inside. And this is a little under five degrees, so maybe like three degrees. So let's talk about the results. The Bouge RV CR Pro 30 paired with the EcoFlow River 2 Max was able to achieve several different set temperatures. Let's start with Eco Mode. It was able to maintain the 36 and 33 degree temperature for 40 nine hours. It was also able to maintain 15 degrees in eco mode for 28 hours. Switching over to max mode, we failed to maintain the zero degree temperature because the compressor kept running. And finally, we were able to hold the five degree temperature in max mode for 20 hours. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to receive future notifications. Thanks for watching. See you next time.